The iMuto battery bank has a massive 138 watts total output, four ports combined, and two USB-C with 100 watts and 60 watts output respectively. Let's take a look. And in order for uh, testing its discharging rate, I have my MacBook Pro 16 inch here and drain the battery around 14% currently. Uh, I may, you know, let it drain a bit more. My laptop is at 3.6%, so I can uh, use this battery bank to test its capability. As you know, the 16 um, inches MacBook Pro supports 140 watts charging max speed from its MagSafe port. But using the USB Type-C, I think it is going to be around 100 watts. And let's see how it works. It is labeled as 100 watts here, 60 watts on the right, Type-C, QC3, 18 watts, and 15 watts USB-C, USB Type-A, USB-A, QC3 compatible. One button on top. 67 percent see what else in the bag the carrying bag right and the USB-C cable that can be used for recharging and discharging let's test the recharging speed using its included cable I'm going to plug in to its bi-directional 100 watts and according to my power meter it's 66 well amazing this is a 100 watts input and output looks like it is taking in 100 watts it's slightly more because there is conversion loss and i can see the percentage of the battery capacity blinking on the screen amazing let's try the other port 60 watts i bet it's going to be 60 watts in and out this is crazy, especially impressive considering that port is 100 watts input. I have never seen anything like this. Yeah, okay, this port is 60 watts. Of course, you need a 100 watts USB-C power delivery charger, or you can use the MacBook Pro charger to recharge this battery pack at its full speed. Okay, I'm going to uh, fully charge this battery bank and then we'll go to uh, testing the laptop. This is what I noticed. If I'm charging using the 60 watts port and I can discharge from the 100 watts port to charge my MacBook Pro 16 inch with M1 Pro chip. Now let's plug in more devices such as iPhone and a tablet. All right. Charges, still charging. A tablet. Yeah, it is also charging at 30%. So it's charging three devices at the same time as it's getting charged from the wall. And this <laughs> uh, power output dropped to around 60 watts even though I'm using the 100 watts input. But it's still highly usable. As soon as I disconnected all the devices, the charging speed came back to 100 watts. It shows 100% charged. By the way, that blinking there is not visible to human eyes. It's just on the camera. 4 watts. Still going a little bit, but I think that's good enough. I'm going to disconnect it and plug into my laptop and also putting this power meter in the middle so I can see its charging status. My laptop is at 3.6%. There's been a little bit of battery degradation, about a 4.6% degradation. The time is 12.45. And let's see, I'm going to close my laptop 
and let it charge and see how um, how many battery it will take in. It's charging at almost 100 watts. 99%. I'll just leave it here. Now it's sitting at 0%. It won't turn on anymore. So let's take a look at my MacBook Pro battery status. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm using coconut battery, which displays the full charge capacity at 77.2%. So I started at around 5%. It was able to provide 72% uh, of charge to my MacBook Pro 16 inch, the latest with the M1 Pro chip. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. Now it's time to recharge the battery pack again.